years old, I would tell anyone who would listen, I'm going to be an actor. Here you have Arena, you have Shakespeare, you have Folger, you have Studio, and you have Wooly Mammoth. Of all of those, Wooly's going to be the one that's going to try and push you into having a hopefully transformative experience in the theater. Hey, it's Michelle Wright with Furman Patterson. We're doing a little work and play today, 202 Extra. We are at the Woolly Mammoth Theater with the artistic director, Maria Manuela. How are you? Hey, hey thank there. you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for coming down. It's my first time here. No way! Oh yeah. my God. I think it's my TV Not husband's first last. time too. No way! Okay, well, we'll yeah. definitely get you those free tickets then so you can come back oh, many, many thank times. You. Thank and you know why this is so special? Because this is also kind of your first, it's your inaugural season. Yeah, totally. It's also our 40th birthday party, what? actually. It's a, four, yeah, Wooly Mammoth has been around for 40 years in Washington, D.C. And it kind of means something that Wooly actually has been able to thrive in a place like Washington, D.C. to have really amazing content and bring like high, highest caliber artists, um, you know, to this city. Wow. Well, Wooly doesn't look a, a day over 20. <laughs> so, but we're in the green room, which is a perfect place to ask you, what does fully Wooly mean? Yeah. Because I know it means something exciting. To me, what a fully Wooly season is, bringing back people who um, have done that here before. So uh, our first play is Fairview by Jackie Sibley's Jewelry. There's a lot of dialogue already about Fairview. Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, so Fairview won the Pulitzer this year, and it's unlike anything you've ever experienced. It is a play that actually um, asks folks to confront with the gaze, the surveillance that happens when you walk through the world and how that is different for white folks and different for black and brown folks. And it tries to acknowledge that, and it does so in an incredibly um, smart, hilarious, and intentional way. I paired that with uh, a second show called What to Send Up When It Goes Down by Alicia Harris, directed by Whitney White. And to me, those, these plays are uh, connected to each other um, because whereas Fairview is asking um, some folks to make space for some other folks mm -hmm. in the world, um, What to Send Up When It Goes Down is by, for, and about black folks. It's, it's great, it's almost like you've come home to a place where we need to talk about some of the things yeah. that your plays, that your, your season is, is bringing into play. Um, race and politics. Right now, we don't have a lot of that on stage in Washington, D.C., but it sounds like this season is going to be tremendous in talking about those things. Yeah, I, what I would say is Wooly's going to be the one that's going to try and push you into having a hopefully transformative experience in the theater. She's got me excited. I know. Well, you got to come. I'm feeling I know, fully Wooly. I know, here's my fully Wooly season. <laughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> Well, you're going to take our hands and we're yes. going to count on you to lead us through a wonderful, creative, colorful new season at the Woolly Mammoth. Amen. Thank you so much. <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> to use my, my personal narrative, my personal struggle to interrogate society, which is something I was already doing. But she really helped me put that to voice. And so I, I had to share that because you're someone who I would follow on the cliff, you know? <laughs> and, and, and gratefully, it's not a cliff, it's the DC arts community. Yeah. We are in the green room with Shannon Dorsey, who's actually in one of the, will be one of the most talked about plays in DC. How you doing, Shannon? I'm doing great. I'm glad to meet you both. We want to hear about Jasmine. I kind of almost don't know how to speak about Jasmine without revealing certain things about the play. Okay. Like Fairview okay. is yeah. actually one of those plays where you have to see it because I cannot spoil it for you. But Jasmine, she's she's full of personality, <laughs> but she's there's something unapologetic about her. Wow. And I love that yeah. uh, about her, yeah. I plan on doing this until I pass away. <laughs> and I hope that I pass away very old. So I want to be old on stage talking about something. No, baby. Like, I want to be like an old lady on stage. Yeah. And I know in order to do that, you have to keep asking questions. You have to keep, that keeps it fresh. It keeps it alive. It keeps it interesting. Well, what I want to say to you is that I think so many people that see this 
you will give them so much hope. I have no doubt that you will do exactly what you said. You are so clear yes. about things, <laughs> and that's a beautiful thing. Thank you so yeah. much. I appreciate that, y'all. Oh, Stay curious. <laughs> Never yeah. lose that curiosity. Thank you. This is Shannon Dorsey. She's amazing. Thanks, y'all. Pretty much. This is our 40th birthday, so it's like building on everything that Howard and all of you have actually helped to create. So I hope to make you proud over the course of this year.